Martinez and Arash Madani. I'm Dan Schulman. All of us with you here from the Sportsnet Studios in Toronto. The Blue Jays hoping for a much better outcome than they had last night against Luis Rojas and the New York Mets, who might be the hottest hitting team in baseball right now. Their September numbers are off the charts. The starting lineup is brought to you by TD, proud fan and official bank of the Toronto Blue Jays. And Dominic Smith was one of the Mets who had a good time at the expense of the Blue Jays last night. He hit a grand slam last night on a six-game hitting streak with six extra base hits during that stretch. McNeil is hot. Conforto is hot. Cano is hot. Ramos had three extra base hits last night. These guys are swinging it right now. That doesn't sound very good for Robbie Ray, the way they're swinging the bats, but Robbie Ray is anxious to get things turned around. This will be his third appearance, second start for the Blue Jays, and Robbie Ray has a long history in the National League, of course. This will be his sixth time in his career he's pitched against the Mets. The last time he faced the Mets, last September 11th, things didn't go so well. He got just two outs. He was charged with five earned runs on five hits and gave up home runs to Todd Frazier and Brandon Nimmo. Neither one of those players are in the lineup tonight, and Robbie Ray looking to get things turned around and even this series at a game of peace. And he will be throwing to a guy making his major league debut. That is Alejandro Kirk behind the plate catching for the Blue Jays tonight as Jeff McNeil steps in for the Mets. And they are ready to go in Buffalo. The first pitch fastball rides in high. Ball one. McNeil with three hits last night. Hitting 434 over his last 14 games. The Mets 21 and 24 on the season. Two games out of the last playoff spot of the National League as play began today. And McNeil hooks the ball down the right field line, and it is just foul. So one and one. What do you think is going through Alejandro Kirk's mind right now? Well, I, I'm sure he's happy he caught the first one. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little nervous for sure. Uh, he's 21 years old. He's the fourth youngest catcher to make his debut in Blue Jays franchise history. And he has never caught above a ball. He played last year in the Midwest League and in the Gulf Coast League. But he's been around the club now for about a week. And he's been involved in all the meetings. So I'm sure he's been well. Hey, Oscar Hernandez out. Just having Bo back in the two spot. Makes that whole lineup look a little bit better, a little bit deeper. Look at the numbers he was putting up before the knee injury. Missed four weeks. Was on fire when he was hurt. Uh, was hitting great here in this ballpark. Of course, he played a little bit in Buffalo on the way up to the big leagues. And then you see Kirk down in the eighth spot in his first major league game. Seth Lugo has done a great job for the Mets. He started out the season pitching out of the bullpen, and he pitched very well as a reliever. His last three starts have all been as a starter, and he has not given up more than a single run in any of his appearances this season. The last two games, he's given up solo home run. Hugo gets him two down. Well, let's take a look at the defense for the Mets in the outfit. It's McNeil, former Blue Jay minor leaguer Jake Marisnik's in center, and Michael Conforto's in right. J.D. Davis. Signed out of Cal State Fullerton by the Houston Astros, and he has had a few adjustments as far as where he's played. He's a natural third baseman and a pretty good.